Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. So finally, OnePlus Nord 2 has received an Android 15 update for 2x2 custom ROM. The developers released this build a few days ago. I flashed this build via ADB side loading through the stock 2x2 recovery, but you can also flash it through Evolution X recovery if you are using the Evolution X custom ROM. Today we are going to thoroughly review whether this first build of Android 15 custom ROM is really worth flashing. We will check its performance, the Android 15 features it includes and at the end I will go through the bugs present in this build. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Our installation and initial setup are complete. Now let's check out the device details for this first Android 15 custom ROM. This is a 2x2 Lineage OS Basic custom ROM. Finally, we have the Android 15 update from the developers of this ROM. You can check the new Android 15 easter egg by repeatedly tapping on the Android version. The Lineage OS version is 22 which also shows a nice Lineage OS easter egg. Security patch is of latest from the November 2024. Kernel version is 4.19.198 origin. The build date of this ROM is November 10, 2024. So everything is up to date and it is based on the new source of Android 15 QPR2 Beta 1. Now let's talk about the, what works in this ROM. Does it have everything or not? The answer is yes. Almost all the essential features are working including Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, NFC, GPS, VOLT, incoming and outgoing calls, and OnePlus Alert Slider. All the major sensors like accelerometer, light sensor, proximity, magnetometer, compass, and gyroscopes are functioning properly. Other important features like fingerprint recognition, USB DAC charging, vibration, light sensor, ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, loudspeaker, and multi-touch are also working too. Next, ROM comes with the OnePlus camera and it has almost all the features working including the night mode, ultraviolet camera angles, portrait photos, professional shooting, ultra HD mode, panorama mode, film mode, slow motion, time lapse and many more. However, some features are buggy and I will discuss those in the bug section of this video. I also tested the performance of this build using the Geekbench. And I got the score of 1112 for the single core and 3257 for the multi core, which is pretty good score compared to the Android 14 builds of this ROM. Similarly, for the OpenGL and Hulkan, I got the score of 4828 and 4965 respectively. Performance is very snappy in the real life world, it's blazing fast and feels smoother for every activity. Now let's check out the Android 15 features that this custom ROM has. The first feature is a private space, which you will find under the security and privacy setting. To use it, you can enable either the face unlock or the fingerprint unlock. After enabling this feature, you will get the separate private space application at the bottom of the app drawer. This space allows you to add any of your private applications for privacy. Only the device users can access this private space using their fingerprint or face unlock. If you want to add a new app from the app drawer into the private space, just long press on the app and choose the install in a private. This will add the application to the private space as a fresh application with your own account you want. Next is the new volume panel. However, Google has removed the expanded view of the volume panel where you use it to get all the sound settings. There are also a new feature for screen recording where you can record either a single app screen or the entire screen of the device. For example, if you choose the single app recording and press the start button, a list of applications pops up allowing you to choose any application whose screen you want to record. When you switch between the application, only the part of the specific application you are recording will be available in the recording. This is really useful for the gaming channels as it allows them to record their gameplay even while switching between the application. These are some main highlights of the Android 15. There are many other new features Google has added which you can check out on the official Google's website. 
Now let's move on to the most important part of this video that is what bugs are present in this ROM. The main bugs are related to the camera. Some features like portrait mode for the selfies are not working. Only the main camera supports the portrait pictures. Another issue is with the text scanner feature which causes the camera application to become unusable once you tap on the text scanner option. To make the app work again you will need to wipe the app's data and the cache. The brain of scan feature is also not working but this doesn't cause as serious issue as the text scanner option causes. Another major issue is with the safetyness CTS profile which is failing. This may cause the issues when using the payment and the banking application. Additionally, this ROM comes with some boardware like Chinese application and payment application. This might be useful in the China but for users in India you can disable this application if you don't want them. So there are no any security concerns regarding this application. These are the only notable bugs in the ROM otherwise it's fully functional and daily drivable build. Thanks to the developer like Lenny and their team who brought this amazing almost fully working stable Android 15 build for OnePlus Nord 2. That's the beauty of using the custom ROM who gets the regular support from the developers even when the official updates from the OEM stops. That's why I always encourage you to have at least basic knowledge of custom ROM so you can keep your device up to date. That's it for today guys. If you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon to get all the notifications related to the OnePlus Nord 2. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.